What made the early church so strong and impactful? And by contrast, why is it that the contemporary church is not having as great an effect on the environment? We are salt and light. Why aren't we having a greater impact on the environment around us? Now, it is true that we know that things are going to get progressively worse because the Bible promised that. But at the same time, since we are salt and light, shouldn't we be having a greater impact? Well, when we look at the early church and certain snapshots, like, for example, the one we see in Acts chapter 2, verse 44, where it says, all those who believed were together and had all things in common, one thing we recognize is they had a radical sense of unity that manifested itself in a radical sense of generosity. If you were to read Acts chapter 4, verse 32, 33, you would find that they not only had all things in common, those who believed, but they had one heart, one soul, and nobody who had any property claimed that that property was his, but it was common property. Everyone in the fellowship had access to it. So here's the challenge that we've taken as a church. For the next five weeks, we've challenged every member of New Zion to come to church on time. That is, don't skip church. Whatever church you belong to, why don't you go there and be on time and get fully engaged in whatever, whatever is going on in worship. That means get involved in a class, get involved in a ministry, and uh, get involved in a small group, whatever your situation is at your local church. We've also taken another commitment, another challenge, so that we can position ourselves to be generous like the Bible describes, and that is we're going to get one paycheck ahead by January the 1st, 2013. That is, instead of living paycheck to paycheck and coming to church uh, struggling and worrying and actually with an attitude when the preacher talks about money, let's be wise stewards. Let's go to the ant, Proverbs 6, and consider her ways, learn how to be wise, store up so that when lack or when adversity uh, tries to impede or tries to impose itself on us, we'll be in position. Start with $5 a week, $10 a week. Cut out a trip to McDonald's. Cut out a trip to Starbucks. Cut out one uh, movie experience and save some money so that by the time you get to the end of the year, you're at least one paycheck ahead. Now, if you're already one paycheck ahead, the challenge is to get uh, one month ahead in your expenses. If you're already one month ahead, get three months. If you're three months, get six months. You get the principle. The idea is position yourself not just so you can have more stuff, but position yourself so you can be radically generous. How many of you are willing to take this challenge with us? Holler back at me and let me know if you're willing to accept it. And uh, if you accept the challenge, let's stay in touch and see how it's going. God bless you and have a great day.